friends, it's Colleen, and I have had this very stupid idea for a very long time. I can't tell you why I wanted to do this video. I have never owned Crocs in my life. I have never put them on my feet. And yet, I just thought it would be fun to put some bedazzling on a pair. Quite a few months ago, this idea just like planted itself in my brain and I just had to go searching. So I went online and I saw all the different colors I could get and I saw that they make silver metallic Crocs. So that I think that was the moment that this was solidified as something that I was going to do regardless of how dumb it is. Side note, they also have other types of shoes and like actually kind of cute sandals and I'm over here with my bad knees like, hmm, maybe I'll only own Crocs now. Anyway, I am not one to just sit here and wing it. Uh, I show up prepared. That is like the first thing you didn't know about me. So the very first thing I did after looking through the different shoe colors was figuring out what sorts of inspiration I could find out in the world. So I grabbed my laptop and I went hunting. I want to walk you through some of my favorites before we get on with the program here. I haven't seen these in many months, so this will be very fun. After I saved these images, I of course went to YouTube next, looking for some tutorials. I actually didn't see much there, although I did get a glue recommendation, which I did purchase. Um, so that's what I got out of that, but unfortunately, like, there's just not a lot of, like, bedazzling Crocs videos. I was honestly pretty shocked. The next step is, of course, to get the shoes. So I decided to go to a physical shoe store. Again, this was many months ago, like well before shelter in place and everything. Um, so I went to a store, I tried on a few different pairs of Crocs because I don't know what size Crocs I'm supposed to wear. Um, and so once I knew what I thought my size was, I ordered them on Amazon and here they are. Uh, they're beautiful, they're silver. Finally, I needed to go buy some rhinestones. Once again, I did all of this long before the pandemic, so don't worry, I'm not like out shopping out in the world right now, but um, here's me at a craft store, checking out some rhinestones, throwing them in my cart. Uh, there really wasn't a ton to choose from, but I think I got some pretty good options. And here they are. I have a big bag with many different sizes. Then I also have this bag with more smaller ones. I felt like all of my design options had a lot of small ones, so I didn't want to just get this and run out. But honestly, like, this is way too many gems, so, um, yeah. I'm gonna have other crafts to do. Okay, so with the research done and the shoes on the way, uh, this is where I start to get a little crazy, but I decided I wanted to plan out different design options because I, I didn't want to get to a point where I'm sitting there staring at a blank shoe with like a jar of jewels next to me and just not knowing what to do. So I started drawing out sketches, but, um, they were very bad. I am not very good at drawing. I did my best. I tried very hard, but uh, after doing a few drawings, I realized I needed to move to the computer. So let's go to the computer. I took an image of one of the silver Crocs. I got this off of the, uh, the listing I bought the shoes from, and I just started taking dots and putting them all over the shoe. So I came up with like these three main ideas. First is one very similar to a pair that we saw in my inspiration photos, but this is basically just having some larger jewels scattered throughout the middle and then having a like outline of very, very small jewels around the top. And then I would definitely extend those to the back and around the little like strap thing on the back too. The next idea I had was like a sort of like bejeweled ombre, if you will. So what I did here was I have all of the same size 
of jewels. Ignore those two big ones near the toe. That was a mistake. Um, but I kind of have them very packed in near the top and then getting more sparse as you go down the front of the shoe. The third idea was to do these sort of like racing stripes. Something I noticed when I was looking at this photo and trying to put dots around the big holes in the shoe is that they did seem to have this like curved line pattern in the negative space. So this idea uses that negative space to make awesome stripes. So I don't know. Okay, so with my designs prepped, shoes in hand, this is what I actually posted to Instagram like ages ago to my stories, asking all of you and some of my personal friends and family to vote on which design they liked best. Um, unfortunately, none of you helped me. It was all pretty much even and I'm kind of mad about it. But now I've had quite a few months to sit with this, think about it, try and consider my croc needs. And I, I think I'm ready to just move forward. I think the best course of action at this point is to just take the shoes and the little gems and just start trying out the three different designs and seeing how they look. Um, and then I will just go ahead and start going when I know what I'm doing. This is what I have with the layout with the big ones and I did use two different sizes. And then this is the size that would be around the border like all the way down here right above where it's bumpy. Um, so that looks pretty nice. This is the start of what the racing stripe one would look like. I don't know if I really like this one that much. Um, so I'm probably just gonna scrap this idea. And here's a preview of what the ombre would look like. So we've got three tight rows at the top and then starting to space them out around those holes. That's probably gonna be the hardest part, uh, but then they would just space out more as they go. I just spent like an hour sorting rhinestones in this little container. It's been about two hours and I have so far sorted my little crystal gem things and I've gotten this far. I decided to go with the ombre design and so I started by doing the three rows of small gems and honestly it's looking pretty cute uh, and I, I don't know how long this is gonna take me. But um, so far so good. I also need to make sure I budget in time to let the glue set. Apparently it takes 24 hours for it to set before I can like wear the shoes for, you know, closing up this video. So uh, I'm hoping I get as much of the glue done today as possible. Fast forward about 30 minutes and here I am. I'm not sure why I was being such a baby. Clearly the parts with the very like packed together gems are gonna take longer. The rest of it was like very fast. So. Here's what we have. Okay, I am just about done for today. You can see that I've added a little border up here of more of the small gems. I added some stuff to the strap, so I have some little gems on the sides and then a couple of medium ones towards the center. But I've been working on this pretty much all day today and my back hurts, so here's my plan. I am going to put some bigger gems here right along that bumpy part there. Um, and then I am just gonna let these set overnight and yeah, then we'll get to actually look at them. This has gone a bit easier than I thought. Uh, I think it was a bit of a slow start, especially because I started with these like very small packed in gems, but the more that I got into it, the easier it got. Now I am covered in glue, especially on my fingernails. Um, and I do have glue bits and just like a huge mess on my desk here. Um, but that aside, this has been not too bad of a process.